tumbler. Thank you, sir. up to Smith Rock late last night, set up camp, and uh, we're gonna go get some climbing in. What's up, dude? Good morning, man. See my buddy Power. Welcome to Smith. Oh, you can already see the morning light. I don't think of myself as an expert climber by any means, but rock climbing is one of my favorite things to do, and Smith Rock in Central Oregon's high desert is one of the country's best places to do it. I gathered a couple of my buddies and we set off for a weekend to try a few climbs together. So, I don't know if you guys can see like the jumble of rocks, kind of exactly 12 o'clock. The three steps to the right of them, we're gonna basically climb right up that and then into the crack at like one o'clock and just up that gully. Mm -hmm. And that's the first climb. There are hundreds of climbing routes at Smith, including a bunch of easy and moderate ones. So we decided to try our hand at climbs in three different areas of the park. Smith is kind of the birthplace of sport climbing in the US. So in the 80s, uh, folks started uh, coming out to Smith and bolting some routes. And this is where it kind of took off for this part of the world. One of the things I like about Smith is you can go and get on any number of moderates in a given day. You can do a bunch of single pitch moderates. I don't, I don't want to be a 512 climber necessarily outside. I would much rather do cool stuff that's a little bit more within my comfort zone. Right. Yeah, I don't think any of us are chasing grades. And, and let's be honest, like I'm not going to be a 512 <laughs> climber, so it's good that I don't want to be that. For our first climb, we headed to the dihedrals area for a route known as Bunny Face. It's a two-pitch sport climb rated at 5'7", which means it's approachable for a beginner multi-pitch climber. The climbs we tried on day one are multi-pitches, or longer routes broken up by at least one stop, or belay, partway up the wall. I just put on my rock climbing harness, which is kind of the number one thing that you use to connect you with the rope and by effect the wall. I have here what we call a personal anchor system. So I hitch this onto my harness and use that as a point of contact into the wall itself, which has like bolted anchors on it. What do you say, man? Do it. All right, yeah. see you in a bit. Yeah. And belay? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. As soon as you clip in? That's true. All right, climbing. Each of the climbs we chose are called sport routes, where climbers clip to existing bolts on their way to a bolted anchor point. It's the belayer's job to hold the rope securely, manage rope tension, and catch any falls. This climb was fairly straightforward. The toughest part was the beginning of the second pitch, where we had to maneuver our way from a ledge to an adjacent rock face. Nice, dude. Bunny Face is a great route for practicing multi-pitch systems, and it was really cool for our crew of climbers to gain more confidence on the wall. Thanks, buddy. Great climb. 
After finishing up, we headed over to our second climb, a spectacular five-pitch route known as First Kiss. It's rated 5'8 and offers a bit more difficult climbing than our previous route. Plan has changed. We are going to climb two pitches of the five-pitch route because we ran a little bit slower than we wanted to, which is totally okay. It's gorgeous out and we're just gonna rappel back down and enjoy the rest of our night instead of finishing up. Even though we didn't climb all five pitches this time, the sunset was spectacular and we still had a blast climbing. Just as the sun was setting, we hiked out for the night and got some rest before our next climb. Our interest in rock climbing is around the adventure and like where it takes you and so like bridging the gap now into like multi-pitching and like the focus on this video is like pretty low grade accessible climbs but knowing the systems and knowing the skills to be able to do multi-pitches and lead climb and like do that stuff safely opens up a whole realm of things to do, not only here, but like when we go in, into the Alpine and mixing that with like the mountaineering stuff that we do. And Knowing that you have something to fill all, all the parts of the year. Yeah. Well, if I can blend climbing and skiing and mountaineering and all of that all together, then that's a pretty good, yeah. that's a pretty good outing. You want to get after it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Oh, that heated seat. We ended up hiking over to the monument area to climb one final route, a single pitch, 5-7. We wrapped up our last climb and hadn't even left the park before we were scheming up what climbs to try during our next trip to Smith. Well, she tried to, and then you bought a good wolf. Hey there folks, I'm Jim Ryan. Thanks so much for watching our latest episode of Peak Northwest. We love hearing your feedback and if you feel so inclined, drop me a note and let me know what you think of the series so far and where you think we should go in the future. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.